This tractor, like the other Kubota, is an offset high wheel uh, tractor, and with it came this, this set of uh, sweeps and shanks, or a full set of sweeps and shanks. We use this, we have a, uh, a couple of discs we use for hilling. Uh, we use this to go after uh, weeds when they get out of control uh, in crops like beans. As you can see, here's a red root pigweed. You can imagine he was a pretty good sized beast. And these shovels uh, are good at doing just that. They bury, they root out. Um, they're very, very aggressive. Although we use them to cultivate uh, the edges of our plastic. On the front here, I have a half sweep, which is basically a sweep with one side cut right off, and I can get right up close to the pl plastic. I can side dress it at the same time, the edges, and I can also throw dirt in with the uh, rear sweeps back on top of the fertilizer all in one, one, one pass. So it's pretty versatile even though it's, uh, it's quite a chunk of iron. But when things get that bad, this is the kind of heavy artillery you really want to have. These can be set up in many different configurations by taking these off and, and uh, as I say, I may take this sweep off and put a hiller and hill potatoes, uh, getting the weeds farther out between the rows of potatoes. I used it in beans this morning, cropping, uh, cultivating a crop of beans. I'll set this up differently inside with a side dresser on the other side and side dress and cultivate two rows of corn at a time. Um, these shanks and, and sweeps are a little rough for doing the kind of work that we use the, the lily with and the uh, budding baskets. But uh, for your larger crops, pumpkins, vine crops, things on plastic, uh, beans, when they get up to a certain, after they get to about three or four inches, you can go in there and, and use this kind of uh, tillage tool quite effectively. One of the things I like about the sweeps and shovels on doing uh, uh, beans or things you would have in a line on bare soil, whether it's peppers or, or uh, if you're growing them on bare soil or small tomatoes, we grow our uh, pumpkins and winter squash. One of those things that those sweeps do is they actually throw a little soil back on the plant, and this is pretty, pretty well demonstrated in this situation. The outer sweeps will, will kick out, roll over uh, pigweeds. Stuff in the middle, it will uh, actually hill in and throw soil on top of the uh, weed. Here's some crabgrass that, that uh, is, is covered up. Uh, with soil. Um, it's going to restrict the growth of that plant. Uh, this crabgrass will come along, obviously, but it's be set back a great deal more than the bean. And anything that's smaller than that will obviously be suffer, uh, uh, smothered. So uh, you not only get the action of, of, of destroying the actual destroying the weeds in cases, but also smothering new growth under the canopy of the plant, um, which I like. If you notice up front here, there's a half sweep which means that it doesn't have, I don't know if you can get a shot of it, but it doesn't have this, this half of the cultivator at all. Um, that's, that's a very handy uh, tool to get up close to, to plants. We also use that uh, in cultivating the edges of our plastic. Our tomatoes, our peppers, our melons, squash, cucumbers, eggplant, all is all on black plastic. And then when we put them out at transplant time, we cover them with hoops and rime. So at the time we take the rime off, we have an awful mess of crabgrass and broadleaves that's growing along the edge of the plastic and has also been nurtured in that environment along with a desired plant species. It's also got a lot of weeds in there to deal with. Um, when we first started uh, farming for several years, that just meant an interminable amount of hand labor, uh, of hand weeding. And with this particular, not the way the machine's set up here, but now we cultivate, we take the rime off, and by taking these two chisels off, these two sweeps off, we move these half sweeps out, we reverse them so that the sweeps are out here, just inside the tire tread. And we can go right down along those uh, edges of the plastic, right underneath them, just barely. Sometimes it'll even throw the dirt off the plastic, but what it'll do is any of the weeds growing in that area will be flipped out and rolled over, almost in a plow-like fashion. And then behind, we have a set of duck feet cultivator that we put the pump point right on the center of the tire, and that will come right along and throw soil right on top of the weeds. So we can really minimize the cultivating of the edges of the plastic, which is a great, uh, uh, that's, a, that's a great labor saver for us. And as far as the middle of the row, we, we seed that down to a cover crop of uh, clover. 
so we don't have to cultivate out there. We were talking a few minutes ago about uh, cultivating the edges of the plastic. Here's an example of, of uh, some plastic that was just recently cultivated. Um, we put, pulled a reme off over a week ago, and because it's strawberry season, we didn't get in here and cultivate immediately, which we should have. So uh, yesterday, I came in here, and we were dealing with, you can see, some pretty large weeds here. And here again, uh, despite the size and the thickness of the weeds on the edges, we were still able to, to well, that front shoe was able to chisel these things out. We were able to throw calcium nitrate in at the edge, and the rear sweep was able to come through and bury a lot of the weeds and uh, co cover a lot of the calcium nitrate in the edges of the plastic, and this is the end result. Vegetable farmers and their weed control machines. In this video, we visit nine vegetable farms in three New England states to talk with growers about their weed control equipment and how it's used. They will describe a variety of cultivation tools and approaches to weed control. Hopefully, their knowledge and experience will help you get a better understanding of cultivation equipment and techniques. Matching cultivation tools to the soils, crops, weeds, and other particulars of a farm can be a complex task. Growers that are trying to reduce or eliminate their reliance on herbicides need information that will help them make good decisions about cultivation and weed control. Extension, research, and the private sector working together can generate that kind of information. Funded in part by the USDA Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program, promoting environmentally sound and economically viable agriculture. This video was produced by Vern Grubinger, University of Vermont Extension System, and Mary Jane Else, University of Massachusetts Agroecology Program.